But back to our mission to rescue those Kerbals around Tylo. I mean, technically we could send them to Paul if we could, if our docking port hadn't exploded. <laughs> we could dock to it and transfer fuel in and then transfer them to Paul. If only the docking port hadn't exploded from heat. Uh, well, anyway, what, what is being ejected there? Jewel Probe 2 is being ejected. We didn't need it anyway, it's fine. That looks like an uh, approach to Jewel for now, so we'll do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna start going now. I'm gonna try to do warp while using the engine. This has been a fraught thing. Let's see, focus? Not really on that, but. Okay, the rest of that we'll correct on the mid course correction. I don't suppose Tylo could capture us. Oh, wait, there's a Tylo pass there. Um, it used to be that Tylo was much better at capturing us into orbit around Jewel, I swear. Oh, there's, there it is. And critically, we want our resulting orbit to still be flat. 1.9 degrees, it says right there. And that's captured. Seems like a good deal. Uh, that went all crazy. Oop. Okay, I sort of like this setup. The periapsis and the descending node are in the same place. It captures us 40. is far more beneficial than our previous attempt. Got all sorts of solar panels. In theory, they rotate. Let's go out to a microscope correction. Oh, no, 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 no. Please let me extend the antenna. I forgot about that. No. Where's the antenna? <laughs> Can't see it. Time warp. Oh, no. Go, do go out. Do go out. Four. Okay. At least they let us do that. Okay. Okay. We are saved. That electric charge is weird, though. At certain time warps, it'll go lower. Even though it's not supposed to. It did that in KSP-1 as well, so I guess they copied that. Well, this was a very precise pass around Tylo to capture us into orbit, so we probably need to do this fairly accurately. It's probably because they're... Uh, it's actually because of the way things get kept track of during time warp. Okay, let's see what's really going on. Now we don't have the capture situation yet. It's 270. There's some inclination, but it looks alright. We could probably fine-tune it. It's tough, but you need to thrust limit this. I think we'll fix that when we get there. Okay, continuing on to the dual system. Okay, let's see if we can do a small maneuver here. That will correct things a little bit better. But now we seem to be crashing. Well, there's a there's a little crashing thingy. What are we crashing in? What is Oh, it seems to be saying we're crashing into Tylo with that correction. But this doesn't look like it. There's another Tylo PE there. Well, no crashy now. Okay, well, that's a Tough maneuver to try and do, considering it's zero. I think I'll use the RCS for that. Uh-oh, it's going up now. Okay, well, fine. I guess that's all we need to do. Let's just go over there and see. It, we'll take what we've got there. Continuing on into Jewel. Well, not into Jewel. I mean, closer to Jewel. Okay, there's Tylo, but we're only swinging by this time. We're not actually trying to capture. 
We'll be rescuing you guys soon. Hang in there. Okay, just like that, we have captured around Jewel. And next up, we're going to lift our orbit so that we can encounter Tylo. We'll have to correct that one degree of inclination, though. Such a rumble. Uh, I'll just, instead of trying to do, use the RCS to do that, we'll just build it into this correction a little bit. We just want one tangency, so one A and one B, and that's it. Okay. Continuing our rescue plan. Okay, that should have us lined up well enough. And so all we have to do is down here try to manage an encounter. Oh, it's not really showing the, the little dots coming together. And even though it's not admitting it, that's definitely going to be an encounter with Tylo. Wonder what the rules are for when it actually shows an encounter. Okay, well it's not showing one there, but there definitely is one. Well, as expected, it's crashing into it. Seems like half an orbit is its limit. Well, we should show the nodes with respect to the target, but I guess that's okay right now. It's not even showing the yellow bit of the bar. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, looks good enough to me. Um, are we going the right way around? That seems like the exit. I think we're the wrong way around, aren't we? We're going clockwise. It's going anti-clockwise. Okay, new maneuver. I remember thinking this should be the in one and this should be the out one, but it ends up being reversed, right? Okay, let's see. This is leaving Tylo and it's going inward, which makes why, why. So the one that's going inward needs to be on that side. Doesn't cost much to correct it out here, but once we get in there, it's going to cost a lot. And those two guys are going around the same way. Okay, I think we're safe. Okay, 1.8 degrees. That's fine. Tylo again. Okay, capturing. I think I'll take that for now. 500 meters per second to match speeds with it though. But yeah, now uh, we're pretty low, 34 kilometers. Look at us skimming across the landscape here. Once again, Jewel Rise. Okay, good enough. One meter per second. Touchy business. I'm gonna make sure we're not going further away from it as we do this retro burn. There we go. The remnants of our lander. Okay, I think our Kerbal should be able to EVA that distance. Certainly. Okay, just hold steady there. You can see our ship over there. EVA please, Shelkin. And Shelkin has the data. Okay. Okay, apparently we can't. Target like that, set target. Try double clicking on it, but we can't target like that, I don't think. In KSB2. Okay, grab. Shimmy up there. And board. Alright, one Kerbal down, two more to go. Should have technically gotten those two first because they were in the higher orbit and easier to get to, but. I wanted that science. They're not giving us science, so it's more important to get Shelkin. Yep, totally giving up on giving me that bar anymore. You know, in target mode, 
If this showed the distance to target, that wouldn't be so bad. I mean, presumably we'd be safely in orbit and everything. If this could toggle to distance to target while it's in target mode, that'd be nice. Keep going there. Okay, we have the stage finally. Just get the terrier going immediately. Uh oh. No, we're stuck, why? A couple. I thought we had that already. Okay. So many default names. You know, in KSP1 they would just append something to the craft that they came off of. Like they'd say, this is this thing probe. They could probably do that, this is this thing default name. Or just put DN for default name instead of the whole thing. At least give me some idea what it's related to. Apparently Flysafe is not default name. Okay, Kerbal should be able to... Well, Kerbals should be able to get out and board. Ow! He definitely knocked himself. Maybe... Is there any way double clicking is going to work here? Right clicking? No. Double clicking? No. Board. Oh, grab. Board. Okay. Back over. Okay, that's me. I'm tempted to land this thing on Paul, but it's really tall and it doesn't have landing legs, so... But it does have a lot of Delta V right now. Okay, grab. Board. Okay, all three Kerbals are in, in theory. Wait. Oh, there's Desmi. That's the control core, I suppose. Okay, so yes, everybody's in. It says zero Delta V here, but it says 3,546 down there, so we're going with the 3,546. Okay, so... Now... Coming back to Kerbin is one option, <laughs> but we do have 3,546. So maybe we could do something else? We had a thing for Drez. Drez would have to be behind us, behind Jewel. I don't know by how much, but let me just see. Uh, mission control. Well, it just repopulated that stuff. Elu's sphere of influence. Drez was planning to flag, we can't do that. But Elu's sphere of influence we could do on the way back into Kerbin, right? What is the phase angle between Jewel and Elu? I am now going to look up. It, uh, Elu is very inclined, uh, not inclined, eccentric though. So the phase angle isn't constant. Phase angle is only constant for circular orbits. So we need Elu to be 31 degrees ahead of Jewel. But that's again, if it had a circular orbit. It's now over there. But just getting into Sphere of Influence is so darn easy. We should just wait, shouldn't we? I guess we're in a happy orbit around Tylo. That's not going to cause us to die, but just in case, let's save the game. Whoa, what is it doing? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's weird. Is it because of the monument? <laughs> Is it the monument's in interference or something? What if the other star system is phasing with ours and actually going to take over ours or something? It's gonna be a bit for, before Jewel can catch up. This is where Elu's on the long part of its orbit. Now Jewel will be going faster. Doesn't actually read the mission elapsed time while we're time warping. Just watch, I'll have to rescue them from Elu as well. Let's try that, let's see. Okay, back to that. I may not have factored in the immense amount it takes to break orbit around Tylo. Hmm, I wanna go out that way. We can't do two things. Um, we'll wait until Tylo's... 
Over on this side, I guess. Uh, but we should boost that periapsis so it's not gonna limit our time warp so much. So if we were going to Elu, it'd be over here. Oh. I just pressed map and... Oh, I guess it comes back here if you press M. Huh. Interesting. Never tried that before. Well, let's see what happens if we try to go straight out. Whoops, okay. Well, that doesn't take much. Oh, well, it actually overshoots <laughs> Elu right, me right away. Uh... It <laughs> really doesn't like keeping the handles out when I zoom out to that level. It'll be really hot coming back into Kerbin, though. Okay, our phasing is not good with that right now. Maybe I, I, we can go for that 2A and 2B. Oh, oh, oh. That right there seems a little bit dangerous. And then that collapses our orbit. <laughs> Um, fine, I'll, I'll fix it once we do this initial part. Hopefully I can fix it. Alright, so 732 for exit from Tylo, but we're going, we're exiting out to a higher orbit instead of a lower orbit. So we're really committing to the Elu thing. Do I even dare fizz warp at this point? Or warp? I guess, let's see. Okay, up we go. And, well, let's... Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop. It didn't let me throttle down while in time warp. Okay, we've gone too... F well, okay, maybe we haven't gone too far. Um, well, we were supposed to have gone too far. Okay. Now we're on escape. And, of course, it's not going to show me any encounter with Elu or any indication that Elu's it happening at all. Fine. Okay, whoa, 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 we got something there. Uh, we're, we're re-encountering Jewel. <laughs> okay, just not re-encountering Jewel. And we can't do two maneuvers. We need to close that gap over there. And we have to hope that it's not going to cost too much. Let's see how much the inclination change works out to be. It doesn't seem... well, it seems like it's... 300. Okay, so we'll take that. Out we go. We are departing Tylo. And we'll be... Uh, my camera's weird. We will be straight away departing Jewel. We have used Tylo's Oberthiness, I guess. Oh, the power's... Power's wicked, no! We have panels that turn... Oh, come on! <laughs> How are they not getting solar power? Blocked by Jewel. Oh crap. <laughs> Just nonsense. Well, we'll wait. Once we're outside of Jewel's sphere of influence, it better not be blocked by Jewel. Now it's okay. As long as we're not in Jewel's sphere of influence, it's okay. Seems like when you're high over Jewel, it automatically has Jewel block your solar panels, I think. At least, uh, one of our other probes had the same problem. The Jewel Probe 2. When it was high over Jewel, even though it looked like our solar panels were getting sunlight, they weren't. And it said blocked by Jewel. And I can't see anything about our orbit there. We're just gonna watch those little dots come together. Okay, and then if I do a maneuver to close our inclination, how's it gonna be? Oh, there's an Elu encounter. 
Well, if we want to come back to Kerbin, I suppose that's the right side to go on. So, 320 there, and we have our Elu encounter and periapsis. The question is whether after that we're going to have enough to pull our orbit down to Kerbin and get a Kerbin encounter. This is a question I do not know right now. In theory, from such a high orbit, getting a Kerbin encounter, we don't even have to check the phase angles. We should be able to get to Kerbin somehow, but it might be faster than we would like to be. There's a lot of space here. They could put a year digit there, maybe. No, it's going to be hard to verify, though, because it's not ticking down this delta V. And because it's uh, inclination change, it's not changing our orbit. Maybe I should just leave it. I can't verify that it's still working and providing the delta V. Yeah, we can see it's consuming it, but sometimes during the time warp, it doesn't seem to actually produce the results. Well, I guess one way we can check is by looking at that. Uh, it seems like it's going at a good enough clip, though. Okay, well, we successfully entered Elu's SY, so we've got that mission complete. Now, is there anything we want to do here to help ourselves out? I suppose it would only raise our orbit if we tried to make orbit or retroburn at periapsis. Yeah, effectively, that's raising our orbit. Directionally, I don't think there's... Uh, given our approach, there's no way we can fling ourselves towards Kerbin here. Okay, so at Apoapsis here... Well, that's pretty close. Yeah, alright. Well, let's keep that. Alright, so that will be a maneuver. And then that'll be the intercept. But for now, let's focus on Elu Science. Did you remember to do the crew observation? Okay, so that's all those, but the samples have to be returned. We're not correcting the inclination, we're just... That's at the ascending node. See, uh, the ascending node's over here, so we're meeting up with it at the ascending node. Off-plane transfer! Anyway. So there's Elu. Oh, we're just flying by this time. I don't think we got the low over. There's no way that qualifies as low. Okay, out from Elu. Hopefully our existing maneuver will still be valid. It says distance from planet really close, but of course it's not showing us our maneuver. Uh, not maneuver, our encounter. And we're going all the way around. That's in 10 years. Is as fast as our time warp goes. It's, there's a tantalizing other step of time warp, but it's not going to let us use it. You know, the clue for the other star system was that it's where uh, Kerbal doesn't shine, but technically it would still shine. It'd be a little star, right? Unless there's something blocking it specifically. But I'm thinking, is that really enough time warping to get to another star system? Hmm. Um, this doesn't look like we're intercepting Kerbin anymore. Right? Did it mess us up? Where's our intercept? We had a little encounter there, right? Or at least uh, 1A and 1B were close together, right? Now 1A and 1B are not close together anymore. I mean, if I fix it, is it going to be right or not? Because I can fix it, see? See, I can fix it just fine. But do I trust this now? Or is it going to go away again? Now, you know what? That's probably entering the SOI. Anyway, let's go with this. Okay, well, we are going to apply a great deal of Delta V to this situation. I was trying to make uh, push the maneuver a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna start a little bit earlier because I think that's more beneficial. But might end up being wrong. 
Okay, well, this is just a retrograde burn mostly, so we can see and I can time warp hopefully and verify that we are getting the results. The fact that the burn timer is totally given up on me is sad, but... Oh, I was reading red. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's reach the minimum there. Uh, let's see if uh, mid-course here will do a greater benefit than anything we can do right now. Let's keep this simple. No help from the moon, thank you. Well, for now that's okay. Oh, well, in fact, that's in the atmosphere right there. And that's probably where I wanted. Let's see, if we were to try and manual... Oh, I can't double check. <laughs> I was gonna make a maneuver to check how much Delta V it would take to manually capture, but... Yeah, I can't do that. Anyway, we've got this 22 meter per second burn, and we're on our way back in closer to the sun. Boy, they've had a long trip. Okay, <laughs> they've had a long trip. But better to go to Elu from Jewel than going to Elu from Kerbin. People talk about base building, people talk about being able to go to other star systems. I would just like to make a second maneuver and see what its delta V is. Preferably a third and fourth maneuver while we're at it. I, I do like to string my maneuvers together. Okay, 33. Ah, that's crashing. We'll fix it when we get there. Okay, right now we're crashing into Kerbin, but that's okay. That just shows how accurate we are. Hopefully they tried this out when they made the thermal system. Coming back from Elu, I mean, seems obvious, right? Right? We'll try 25 like that. So we certainly haven't come in at this kind of velocity. And we are now going to get rid of our propulsion unit. Okay, and in we go. Oh, let's not go fizz warp. Here we go. One worrisome thing is we're not really slowing down yet. Let's see about that. We haven't used much uh, ablator so far. So I'll put that up there. Generally the heat shields seem to have way more ablator than they actually use, which is actually correct, so that's fine. Will we actually come straight down? I think we will also come straight down. Maybe 10% of our ablator used. Uh, we, we actually lost the docking port on this on Ascent because it overheated going up. That's definitely an issue. Pro probably that shouldn't happen. They had a launch escape system on top of it first. It was only in high, high atmosphere that overheated. Okay, we'll try the parachutes. Okay, we are on parachutes. It says T plus 54 years right now. <laughs> but that's the universal time. Mission time. T plus 33 years mission time. Ooh. Ooh, it's faster than I like to splash down. Three, 33 years! Okay. Recover vessel. ASC. Let's go to mission control and wrap things up. Okay, so... Elu Sphere of Influence we definitely did do, so we do earn that 6,400. Perpetual Warm Corporation is thrilled with the results of the test. In spite of freezing outside temperatures, uh, the coffee inside the test mug remained high enough so you'd still need to blow on it a bit before sipping. Okay, good. Very good. Now, the second dibs, we didn't actually plant a flag on Paul. This is an uh, error. We planted a flag on Tylo and it actually s satisfied that. Ride the wave. Drive a rover onto the frozen tsunami on Elu. Well. So they did care about Elu after all. <laughs> I thought they were only getting us into the SOI, so they thought uh, I thought that maybe they, they weren't too interested in Elu. But as a, ma as a matter of fact, we have more Elu things to do. 